Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, um, like all vacations that end up happening, I did not vlog enough to narrate what is going on. So I am here in the present to narrate this vlog and let you know what's going on. So to preface, my family took a family vacation to Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge area, Tennessee over the 4th of July holiday. Even with the coronavirus pandemic going on, um, Tennessee has had low cases this whole time. And we were up in a cabin up in the mountains for the most part. We stayed away from people. We kept it very um, safe. So we went just for a couple days. We rented a cabin, like I said. It was awesome. It was so fun. The um, first picture I have is Grayson. He put on my sunglasses. He is so into sunglasses lately and I really need to find him a pair that fits him because he loves wearing them. So if you guys know of a good place to buy toddler sunglasses, let me know down below. But here's a uh, picture of him wearing my sunglasses, which is super cute. We got to the cabin and it had gorgeous views and we just stayed um, in the first night and kind of just hung out on the front porch. There were lots of rocking chairs that we could all rock on and it was super um, peaceful and relaxing. We had drinks. Um, everyone was having some yummy alcoholic drinks except for me <laughs> um and we were all just having a great time there was a hot tub out there but it was so dang hot because it's the middle of summer we really didn't use the hot tub that much but there was a hot tub um and it just felt really great um there weren't too many bugs because we were so high up in the mountain so that was really nice too <laughs> Grayson is obsessed with clocks. If you know, if you've watched any of my vlogs, you would know that. He's obsessed with singing Hickory Dickory Dock and, you know, all the clock songs. And they had a clock in this um, cabin that we rented, and it was a moose clock. And it had a moose on it. <laughs> and um, I took a picture of it because Grayson was obsessed with the moose clock. Every morning we would get up, that was the first thing he would want to see. It was hilarious. We went on many hikes this trip, um, just because that's kind of the thing you do in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, and it was like good for social distancing to go out on the trails. Um, they really weren't that packed. We did go to a waterfall that was a little bit crowded, but we kept our distance from other people. Um, so I just have like some clips of that. The waterfall was really cool. Gray liked it at times, but he was kind of like not sure of it either because it was a really, really big waterfall. Um, and it was hard hiking with the toddler because we took the stroller, which was, I think it hindered us more than helped us, even though the path was mostly paved. So that was really difficult, but it was really fun going hiking. We don't have those kind of trails in Ohio. <laughs> with a whole bunch of other cabins and they had a little gated community and so they had a little community pool it was always dead there wasn't usually too many people in there so we would just hang out in the pool after being so hot um, usually this would happen while Gray was napping back at the house so we had to be um, back at the cabin anyway so we would go swimming and it was really nice just to be chilling in the pool and hanging out with each other and of course I had to get an updated bump picture in my bikini yes i was crazy i did also bring my one piece and i did wear my one piece but um i did wear the bikini at one point <laughs> really cool 
cool because there was a, a main floor and then there was a basement floor. There's also a um, upstairs off the main floor too, but it just had like the master bedroom. But both um, stories had their own porches. They were long wraparound porches, super pretty, super awesome views of the mountain and the foil and the trees and all that. Um, on the bottom porch was a cute little house that Grayson loved to play in. It was made just for him. It had a mailbox, it had a door, windows. He loved playing in it, so I took a clip of that. Ah. The flag goes up, up, up. The flag goes down, down, down. The flag goes down, down, down. And check the mailbox. Yeah. Check the mailbox. Check the mailbox. It's empty. One rock. Two rocks. Two rocks. So we are on vacation in Tennessee, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area. And the house has this cute little playhouse for Grayson that he loves. Is it empty? He loves the mailbox. He loves opening the windows. We are here just for a few days over the 4th of July holiday, and it feels so good to just be somewhere other than Ohio. We've had so much fun already this vacation. We've been in the pool. We have been hiking. We went and saw a waterfall yesterday. Up, up, up. Um, I think today we're gonna go ax throwing, uh, more hiking. Up, up, up. So this is the view off of our bottom patio. We have lots of rocking chairs, a swing, and you can see the mountains, lots of trees, greenery. We took a lot of car rides while we were in Tennessee because we had to drive to all of these um, hikes and our cabin was actually kind of far, far away from where the trails were, which was the only bummer about the cabin. And so to keep Grayson happy during these car rides, we would sing different songs. And my sister taught Grayson the Hermie the Wormy song. If you don't know what it is, it's just a song usually you learn in camp. We did a lot of Girl Scout camps growing up. There was a sixth grade camp that we did um, in school. And so you learn just these silly songs. And so Allison taught Grayson this Hear Me the Wormy song, and she taught it once, and he was just obsessed with it, and that just became the song of the trip, and Grayson wanted us to sing it to him over and over and over again, so I had to take a clip of that because it was very cute. <laughs> activities that we did during our trip was axe throwing. I had never done this before. No one in my family really had except for my brother and his fiance and they really enjoyed it and so we thought we would try it out. They had tons of different places offering it and when we went it was dead like there was no one there which was really nice um, and it was really fun. It's 
um, not as easy as you think, or maybe you think it's hard. It is pretty hard. Um, it took me a while to figure out, like, the technique to get the axe to stay. The hardest was to get it to, like, stick in the board. And you could throw it either one-handed or two-handed. Um, for me, it was easier two-handed, but a lot of people preferred the one hand. So I took some clips of that. Um, everybody had a great time, and it was just something different to do. Uh, we were allowed to bring Gray, but of course he was too young. I wouldn't even, I would not even let him touch the axes, even if he was allowed to. Um, but thankfully they just had a couch, and so we just put on a show for him, and Anthony and I would just watch him in between taking turns. <laughs> was up high um, in the mountains on the hills we had some beautiful sunsets every night and so one night we went and took advantage of it and took some pictures in the sunset and um, Grayson was already asleep by that time so some people stuck at the house um, obviously because we always had to have somebody with Grayson but Anthony and I went and took some pictures and of course you had to get you know the belly in it so we did take some pictures of that Another activity we did on vacation was we went to the Sky Bridge. This is um, kind of a newer thing to the area. And basically it's just, you take like a gondola all the way up and then you walk across this bridge and it's very high up. And at one point in the bridge, they have a glass area so that you step on it and you're just looking straight down. And it was really fun. Um, it was super hot but we all did it my mom is definitely afraid of bridges and so we were a little worried that she would be too scared to go but she did do it she did not enjoy it but she did do it we did see people who would go like a little bit out and then they just wouldn't be able to do it so they would just turn back around and leave so <laughs> thankfully we all did go across um it wasn't that long of a bridge but the views were really, really pretty, so I took some pictures and videos of that. trip 
Um, we did celebrate the 4th of July. Um, Gatlinburg, I think it was, or Pitch and Forge, I can't remember, which, I mean, the two cities are, like, right next to each other, but they had um, public fireworks going on. Back in Ohio, most of our firework shows have been canceled, so it was really um, fun that we got to experience fireworks in Tennessee. They basically had it so where you could go to like this huge park, um, everyone was social distancing, you would just, you know, lay out. We didn't have like any blankets, we should have brought some. We just brought towels and we just laid on the grass and watched um, the fireworks and we had uh, sparklers that we were doing and it was Grayson's first time seeing fireworks. Before this we had just had him um, put him to bed and then we would just have somebody stay behind with him while we went to go see fireworks. But this year, um, even though it was past his bedtime, we thought we would try it and see if he'd like it. I did bring noise canceling headphones because I was worried that the sound would be too loud for him. But he had no problem with it. He did not want the the headphones. I mean, when we go in my dad's airplane, it gets pretty loud in there. And he doesn't want the headphones there. So I should have known he wouldn't want them. But it was super fun. The fireworks were awesome. They were, um, you could tune into a radio station and listen to music coordinating with the fireworks. So that was really fun. And Grayson just absolutely love the fireworks um so i got some clips of that <laughs> he's so cute we're waiting for the fireworks <laughs> in tennessee <laughs> we got some fireworks of our own too we throwing the football All in all, it was an awesome vacation. It was just a couple days, um, us all spending together as a family. Usually a couple days is enough. <laughs> After that, if it's any longer, then we start to get on each other's nerves and it just goes downhill. So it was great. The drive there and back was not the best. It was like six hours away from Ohio. So it was a bit of a drive, but we did break it up. But we would go a little bit and then stop for lunch and then go a little bit. We introduced Grayson to McDonald's for the first time, and he loved it. And now every time he sees the golden arches of the McDonald's, he always says, McDonald's! Like, he's very, like, M, McDonald's! Very into McDonald's. It was really cute. 
But, um, yeah, all in all, it was a great vacation. It was great to get all together as a family. Um, thankfully, I was able to tough it out with my big belly. I was a little worried how it would be hiking and the long drives while being pregnant, but I did bring my belly band along, and it did help a lot to, ha to wear that when I would get tired. So it was super fun. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry I had to narrate it, but um, that's just what you have to do sometimes, so... Hope you guys are staying safe out there and enjoying life as much as you can during this pandemic. Um, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!